Hey guys, what's up? Tommy here, back with a new fig hack. This was a super simple one day operation. If you saw my previous review, or was it three previous reviews ago, I did a review of the Walmart exclusive Then Now Forever Shield 3 pack and I wasn't that pleased with it. Why? Well, because there was a lot of re-releases of pretty poor figures and I felt like Mattel should have actually taken the time and gave us something new or simple repaints or something like that, but they actually didn't. They just gave us repacks with the new accessory. So I took the time to actually fix up this guy and make it Seth Rollins when he wore the long sleeve shirt for a very small period of time, about a month. Now this isn't perfect, it was a one day job and and I did film the whole process, which you'll see in this video. But I do want to note some of the aspects. I know that Seth Rollins wears like a Nike, I'm pretty sure it's Nike undershirt. So I looked up what that looks like from the front. I didn't touch it from the behind. So I'm giving it the uh, Chinese bootleg aesthetic. But of course my piping and the lines are really poor quality. It's not smooth at all, but as I said, this is a one day job to make something kind of quick and cool to show you that you don't have to be the greatest to make it. But then I tried to uh, boost it up a little more by sculpting, sculpting, sculpting some gloves on there. Really, really not great stuff that I, I did because I stink at sculpting, but it does give the illusion of an actual glove instead of previously it looked just like a hand that was for some reason black this you can tell that he's wearing a glove on the hand which is very important uh, for for this figure and i don't know why they would never do that for the seth rollins they never sculpted any type of glove it was just a hand painted or sculpted in black. And then lastly, I switched to this way better head sculpt. The previous one was just terrible, didn't look like Seth, but this one I can definitely see Seth in there, and I feel like it's a much better head. So you wanna see the process? Check it out. All right, so what you didn't see was me switching the head. Sorry I didn't film that, I thought it was pretty boring, but I started out just simply painting the arms because really, where else would I start? You'll see here though that I did still have the vest on. Uh, you can take it off if you want, leave it on, it doesn't matter because it's pretty much all black. And it was very, very simple to do it. You might find that sometimes it's difficult to get the acrylic to stick on the plastic, but I've read online people recommend uh, some soapy water to just wash it off. And uh, I tried that for that, it worked relatively well. But if that doesn't work, just layers, you know? Painting takes time, as do most things in life. If everything came quick and easy, then life would be totally different, right? It wouldn't be as much of a struggle, but I feel like the struggles uh, help us become who we are today, and you can see this is second or third layer, fixing all those parts, because also, when you articulate the figure, you expose more more skin segments so see there I had to rotate the arms and paint them again to cover up the parts that were covered up by the articulation and this whole speed painting thing the sped up is over about an hour this whole process probably took an hour completely but of course I had to wait for the paint to dry so it took me pretty much the whole day but the combined work on this figure took about an hour. And it's it's really relaxing for me to do things like this because life is so rushed nowadays and doing things like this help us to slow down. And you saw there, uh, I got out some epoxy to sculpt his gloves. And I wore, I wore gloves because sometimes if you accidentally get a little epoxy A on epoxy B inside of it, it totally ruins it. So I want it to be total safe, total secure. So I, I wore gloves and also I had them. So why not, you know? It wasn't hurting anybody. Um, and then I, I finished the clay and went in, the epoxy, my bad, and went in and tried to create a lot of his detail work. And by detail work, I mean his shirt, those piping lining, 
And I made so many mistakes, but that's, you know, life. You make mistakes. Hopefully they're not huge mistakes, but the question is, is there a difference between a big mistake and a small mistake? I'd say, yeah, absolutely. You know, forgetting to put on your pants and going outside, that's a that's a relatively bigger mistake than uh, forgetting a pen and asking to borrow it from someone else. And uh, you can see here that, yeah, I just keep erasing with some wet water and paper towels. That's why I use paper towels as a mat. And then I remembered that I had this kind of slanted paintbrush. And this is one of my favorite detail brushes because... I'm left-handed. I always have difficulty with things. I don't know if this makes it easier for left-handed people, but I really like how it's at an angle because oftentimes uh, left-handed people are taught incorrectly how to write and they hold their pens in a really weird way. But I think I was taught correctly. I'm not sure, but I do find that using this, it's very, very helpful in the long run of painting, adding detail work to this figure and any figure else I use. But yeah, when you make your own customs, your own, don't rush. Too often I see people rush, too often I'm, like I'm watching this back now and I, I'm thinking to myself, I should have really taken a week to create this, not rushed it out, but I did. And I also forgot to shut off the camera just there. And now I'm back, and it's time to sculpt. I'm not good at sculpting. I wanted to create gloves, and maybe you would too. Maybe you're better at sculpting. But pretty much, I was just throwing the epoxy on, hoping it would stick, you know, on his fingers, to, to give them a little bit more definition. And it really doesn't matter. The most important thing is kind of putting a bit around his wrist but not inhibiting the articulation, as you see right here what I'm doing, because that makes it seem like there's something over his arm, which gloves are. And I know right now it, you can really tell that it's there, but when you paint it over a lot of this stuff I did, it, it, you can't tell, but it's, it's the thought that counts. But I, I feel like even if you make a terrible custom, you know, you got to fall down to learn to walk. I think that was said in uh, Batman Begins. And to quote Batman Forever, uh, chicks dig cars. But that was Batman and Robin, actually, I think. Uh, well, I don't know what I was saying. But yeah, sculpting is difficult. And if you're not good at it, don't beat yourself up. Just put the time in. Just pick yourself back up and try again. You know, as Yoda says, do or do not, there is no try, but I don't, I don't agree with that. You can absolutely try and fail. And I, is that, is failing doing not, or is it doing? You can either do it, or not, oh, maybe he was right. And you can try, and that's doing. Yoda's pretty deep, actually. I always hated that, but I just got it. So this video is mind-blowing. Wow. Holy cow. All right, so then I finished sculpting, and it's time for me to just paint. In this shot, you can see my arm, so you know it is me. You can see my work table, so you can see all the materials I was using. Just two colors, gray and black. Super simple, super easy, quick and fast. Fig hack. So now that you saw the process, let's look at some more pictures of this guy, shall we? Well, video. Here he is joined by his shield brethren, and I think that if Mattel actually did this Seth Rollins as what was released in that box set, I think it would have been a lot stronger as a release because it's still shield Seth Rollins, you can definitely tell, but it's different than what we got before, kind of like the Dean Ambrose. The Roman Reigns, I don't know what to do with that to make it better. Maybe a head swapped or something would have made it a, a lot more advertising as a consumer, but I think if this was the then now forever three pack, it would have been so sick. But let's, let's just check out the Seth some more if you want to after seeing it, let's do the uh, classic, ooh, scrolling up so you can see it, and now scroll down, ow, and let's do it from the back too so you can get all those great details of just black matte paint. Awesome, 
awesome, so gorgeous. So what do you think of this? Is this something you're going to attempt to do? Is this something you already did? Because I know like this is a pretty basic custom that a lot of people have done in the past and it was about time I fig hacked it. Also, does this make Seth Rollins the most fig hacked figure of all time for my channel? Absolutely. I love Seth Rollins attires, his outfits, so to be able to create uh, different visages, different versions of him, it's really nice to do and to add to my collection because there are a lot of gaps in Mattel's releases and even though they give us like 50 million toys, they so often and so or so rarely do they actually give us the ones we actually want. It, like look at look at this Callisto. You know, if you saw my review of that, I, I complained about the colors on this Callisto and how it's certainly not the one I'd want. But this Seth Rollins is one I would like, and uh, I think it's good. Oh, and you can't if you want to see my terrible painting application. I did paint underneath there to give it the uh, the look of a undershirt, and it's already it's already coming off. So. I didn't do a very good job with that, not the best. And I do want to also add a little more. Uh, my original initial review of the Seth Rollins from like 2014, probably, um, I mentioned, and I didn't put this in my other review, but in my update review, previously Walmart, but this, we can add it here. Uh, this does tend to ride up a little, his vest, so you gotta really push it down and. It does inhibit articulation. You can't move him back that much unless you really want to see his belly button. But uh, overall, I, this might be better constructed than the previous, but I think it's just a technicality and uh, I don't think it actually is. So this is the fig hack. Believe that. What do you think? Think it's good? You think I, I wasted a day creating this? Oh, I hate how you can never put these back on. Or whatever. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna make a Seth Rollins fig hack. Peace, love, Tommy out.